And I want to take us back to uh, 1992. Something happened in the scientific community that brought scientists who were on record as saying that they were atheists, brought them across the line to saying they thought that it was possible to believe in God now. And let me just give you a couple of their quotes. This again happened after 1992, and, and Hugh, I want to start off by asking you, why did they make these statements all of a sudden? Stephen Hawking, he said, it's the discovery of the century, if not of all time. George Smoot, University of California at Berkeley, an astronomer and project leader for the Kobe satellite, declared, what we have found is evidence for the birth of the universe. He said, in looking at God, Michael Turner, astrophysicist with the University of Chicago, said, it's unbelievably important. The significance of this cannot be overstated. They have found the holy grail of cosmology. And one more, Jeffrey Burbage, uh, University of California, I think he's one of your old professors. Right. He's complaining now that his fellow astronomers are rushing off to join the first Church of Christ of the Big Bang. Right. Now, what was the evidence that moved these guys from their atheistic position to being open to saying that God created? Well, before 1992, there was a window of hope on the part of some atheists that Big Bang cosmology might not prove to be correct. I mean, what they were observing before 1992 was that the cosmic background radiation, the radiation left over from the cosmic creation event, measured to be very smooth and uniform. But in order for there to be galaxies that would grow out of Big Bang creation event, it'd be necessary that there would be tiny seeds or departures from that uh, perfect homogeneity and uniformity. And this is when NASA sent up the satellite to test whether or not uh, those tiny uh, departures from perfect uniformity existed or not. And that's what was discovered in 1992. They not only found the departures, they found them at the very level that the Big Bang creation models were predicting. Now keep in mind there are many different Big Bang creation models, but what they all have in common is this concept that there's an actual beginning of space, time, matter, and energy, a causal agent beyond space and time, a universe that continuously expands uh, from that point of beginning, and it's a universe that starts off infinitesimally small and grows to the size that we observe today.